What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel, The Auto Shop Life. So, got a special treat for you guys today. The new guy finally got his KCP in order. Um, I definitely think it turned out great, but uh, he's wrapping it up now. Figure, give you guys a quick tour of the new guy's toolbox. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys, so the new guy, Stan, say what's up, man. How you doing? I'm Stan. I told him it's pretty much uh, in the job description to do toolbox stores around here when they, you work here at the auto shop life, but he just got the nine drawer pretty much all set up. You guys can see his work area. Got a nice computer on there. He's got his chair, nice rug. I definitely dig it. Turned out nice. One thing I want to mention, too, is at first he needed more smaller drawers. And, you know, we're going to talk about the Snap-on mine. Man, he's already talking about getting the add-ons for this thing, the cabinets and all that. But he's got this cool little Stanley stack-on thing <laughs> I thought was pretty cool. For the little small there. Yeah, for your small nuts and bolts, nuts things and like bolts that. Things Definitely dig today, that. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's get into it, man. Let's see what all you right, got. Well, here's my socket drawer. Top drawer, you know, always, always a socket drawer. I'm missing Put, some, but I'm going to be filling them back up. Definitely got a full drawer there. Definitely. Definitely room to grow. Mm -hmm. We'll Hooked them up with it. a couple uh, widgets and stuff, toolbox organization yeah, stuff. You guys know I'm big on that. Here's the widgets. Got the wrench widget, widgets here. Got all the wrenches. This seems pretty full. And it's definitely cool watching someone else set their box up because you guys know I'm big on you know toolbox organization. But you know to watch him set up, you know I really didn't tell him. I just kind of showed him the widgets and he oh. took it from there. Pretty much yeah, turned, pretty out nice. yeah, turned out nice. Yeah, fit a lot in there. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So the top two are the wide drawers, and then we obviously got a power drawer, but then we go to the smaller drawers the here. Smaller drawers, we just hit up screwdrivers. Screwdrivers, picks. No. One thing I did like on this, I told him I had to mention this thing's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, it's got the huge the handle, handle with a stubby uh -huh. little flat head. Can't get it in small places, but you got a good grip on it. And these are the screwdriver widgets. You could, I like the way you set that up. You kind of capped them off with the spacer. Uh -huh. And then you got, you know, Craftsman set on this end, and then he put two spacers trying to break them apart, put uh -huh. the Stanley set on the other end. Got his picks and all that stuff. Definitely filled it up nice. Nut drivers. Yep, nut drivers. Uh -huh. Next drawer, what do we got here? Oh, we got a couple of uh, pullers and... Uh, pullers, files, punch chisels and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. There's some razors in this corner here. Oh, the, uh, I got that same one, harmonic dancer. Yep. Precision yep. screwdrivers back there. This is nice. What's this, Cornwell? Yeah, that's Cornwell. That's, that's uh, nice. I was I actually get a warranted, but... Oh I'm yeah, waiting for Cornwell to come here. Tim's gonna have to warranty this yeah, one now that he got his stuff out. So he does have other toolboxes. He got this one for the shop here because he figured instead of dragging and, uh, all my other shit around, yeah, might as well set C up clamps. toolboxes. C clamps, my hammer collection. Definitely set up nice, mm -hmm. man. And then we got the next drawer. Next drawer with all the players. Hooked them up with some of the stand-up snap-on player organizers. Yeah. Because really nice. the, the racks, what I use, I pretty much used all, everything I had, but this exactly. drawer definitely turned out nice. Got to oh, be one yeah. of my favorites here. Oh, yeah. Then we got the bottom. We got all my cases. Low molded cases. Right here, this one's pretty unique too. I don't know if anybody ever seen a yeah, uh, flaring sure tool like this before. A handheld but flaring tool. It's got every die in there. You just flip them around to what size you need for what line it is. Yep. And you Crimp got it the, in. the press right here. All in one. Yeah. Pretty it kind of reminded me of the Eastwood brake flaring tool. I definitely dig that. He's got a lot of cooler, older tools that you don't really see and too much more. Here's a retired more. drawer that are retired because we're, we're going into electric now. Yeah. Obviously, so, his air drawer, pneumatic air drawer. Tools, and a couple electrical tools in here. And then the power drawer. Yeah, one thing I told drawer. him I was going to mention, <laughs> he's got the wall in there, but hey. he's he's coming around. He's got the Milwaukee in there, too. Milwaukee in there, yeah. But he's trying to, trying to switch over. It's, <laughs> kind, of, kind of a transition going on here. We'll get him. You, you guys know he digs snap on, but we'll get him on that right Milwaukee there. stuff. Your Definitely dig it, man. Yep. It's got a nice area here. Yeah, you can see was... blow molded cases on the side here. Mm -hmm. But I dig it. I definitely dig it. Nice. All right, guys. So just a real quick, fast tour. The new guys, KCP, snap on box. Definitely coming along. But uh, he's already talking about, like I told you, getting the add ons to it. They do make the hutch. 
He was showing us uh, this week on the Snap-on truck the lockers that have drawers in them and all that. So he's already talking about getting them. We'll see because you could obviously see he pretty much filled that sucker up. He still has more tools. He's got tools on his cart, other tools that he's been bringing in, trying to get the things he needs because, you know, at a shop like this, I pretty much got everything we need. Um, no need to have twos and threes and fours of the same tool. He's welcome to use my tools anytime. You know, he's one of those guys that do put the tools back, do wipe them off. He actually lost a flashlight the other day and already replaced it for me. <laughs> and, and he knows where it's at, so we'll call a customer. It's probably still stuck underneath it, but quick toolbox tour. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.